Hey guys, welcome back, it's Dylan, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. This week I want to do a DIY or like a tips and trick kind of video because I haven't done one for some time now and I don't know if that's it. I don't know where I was going to go with that, but <laughs> I haven't done one for a while. But the main reason why I want to do this video specifically is because, let me tell you, last week or the week before, I was just scrolling through Instagram, minding my own business, and then I will include the screen recording that I took. I had to take a screen recording because I couldn't even believe it with my own eyes. I'll put it right here. Every single person I follow on Instagram went away somewhere. So they went away somewhere tropical or whatever it was because... I was scrolling through, people had margaritas in their hand, daiquiris, they were on a beach, they were like swimming, surfing, you name it, they were doing stuff that was tropical. Meanwhile, I was commuting on a train for like an hour and a half in the cold ass Canadian winter. Yeah. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So because I haven't gone on vacation this year, slash I haven't been able to afford to go on vacation this year. I have done like kind of little small things to kind of like push my way through. Now obviously this does not replace a vacation. If someone paid for my vacation right now, I would probably just jump on that plane this second. These are things that you can do if you're like too busy with school or if you're like just dealing with life and you don't have time to go away on vacation. These are some things that I've done kind of like to push my way through this horrible long, long, long winter. So before I get into the video, be sure to go like this video, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified. That is so important. Follow me on Instagram too because some things that I'm going to talk about in this video are related to my Instagram. So go follow. Link will be down below. And yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing I do when trying to get out of this winter funk is by changing up what I eat and that usually includes having more smoothies. Now I don't know about anybody else but smoothies just remind me of summer and warmer weather and I will literally not have them any other time of the year besides summer, so I just find that really helps me get into the right state of mind. Uh, this one's also a fat burning smoothie, or that's at least what the recipe told me when I found it. Um, so if anybody's questioning your summer body progress and all that, at least you can justify that now. And I will also include the recipe down in the description. Another thing you can do if you don't have time to make smoothies or just say you're not a smoothie person in general is that you can try to incorporate citrus into your diet. I do this by putting lemon or orange into my water and it's been proven to help prevent depression by creating some sort of serotonin or something along those lines. Honestly, I have no idea. I'm so sorry. But it's also good for your skin as well. So there's honestly no downside to having citrus. Moving on, I find changing up the things you see every day makes a huge difference in how you feel. So every season, or honestly anytime I feel like I need to change, I'll switch up my desktop background. I know, this sounds kind of dumb, but I find it works for me. And one photographer that I go to all the time for this is Gray Malin. His photos are just so beautiful and so summery and I'm honestly obsessed with them. So the way I go about getting some of his images for free, because that's important, is by going to Google Images and changing my search settings to large and that way you get high quality images for your desktop no matter how big they are. So yeah. This also applies to your phone as well because you are constantly on it so it's always good to change it up. So I get almost 99% of my phone backgrounds from people I follow on Instagram by screenshotting their stories. Like if they post like a really cool photo with no like emojis or like little captions on it, I'll just screenshot it. So when this video goes live, which will be right now because you're watching it, I'll put a whole bunch of phone backgrounds that you guys can go use. So be sure to follow me if you want some of those. And finally, the last way I get over these long winter blues is by reminding myself of vacations I've taken before. So you almost have to be proactive when doing this. And how I go about doing this is by grabbing some of the hand creams or shampoos when I go away, if I stay in a hotel or anything like that. And 
I know it sounds kind of cheap or like kind of like thrifty, but honestly, the intention is really pure, <laughs> I promise. Um, so whenever I have like moments of feeling like low or like just like seeing people on vacation, I will usually like pull some of those out and use them for a little while just to remind me of better weather or just like overall relaxing times because I find the sense just take me back to those moments. And yeah. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Now, obviously, like I said at the beginning, it does not replace a vacation. And if you get offered a vacation, go take it, girl, you do you. But these are things where if you're too busy or if you can't afford a vacation, like me, then these will definitely kind of help you get through this really long winter, or at least I hope they do, because it's been really long. Okay, yeah.